Well, it appears we have escaped record flooding over the holiday weekend, but authorities say we are not yet in the clear. One hour of storm this afternoon dropped more than one inch of rain across Yellowstone County. That amount more than doubles the record for today, but not the major event forecasters predicted to push the Yellowstone River to a historic high. Now tonight, a flood warning remains in effect for the Clarks Fork and Yellowstone Rivers. Authorities asking residents and onlookers to please stay away from the dangerous water's edge. At this hour, the Yellowstone River is raging at 13 feet 3 inches. Billings National Weather Service says the Yellowstone will likely hit its highest point early Wednesday morning, peaking somewhere around 13.6. That's a much more manageable number than the 16 feet they were preparing for over the weekend. But just because it's better than it could have been does not mean it isn't serious. You know, even if the water went down today, this is a top 10 historic crest on both the Yellowstone <coughs> and the Clark's Fork of the Yellowstone River. So this, you know, even though we're talking a, a reduction in the threat, this was a significant event for the county. And we just want to say thank you to all the agencies that assisted. Now the Red Cross shelters in the Billings Heights and in Laurel have been put on standby, but officials say they can open up quickly if needed. As for the Clark's Fork of the Yellowstone, it is expected to reach record flood stage in Carbon and Yellowstone counties. Tonight, the water there is nearing 9 feet. It's projected to crest at 9.5. The previous record, 9.3. Carbon County authorities, lawmakers, and disaster emergency services experts met tonight in Fromberg because the Clarks Fork drainage snowpack is at 124%. The town of Fromberg is of primary concern as quite a bit of the town is within projected floodplain. Now there are sandbags on pallets at the Fromberg Fire Hall ready to move out to wherever needed. Plus authorities have set evacuation plans for everything east of 3rd Street if the river rises to a predetermined point. Now other areas of concern are the sewage lagoons and water intakes of Fromberg, Belfry, Bridger and Edgar. If evacuations become necessary in Fromberg, the high school gym will become a point of refuge. T2 Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire monitoring the situation. Bob, we can see the impact of today's rain. How much exactly did we get? Well, we got right a little over 1.13 inches of rain here in the Billings area. Other places did more. You'll notice that look at Sheridan 145. These are our normally reporting regular stations, and you'll see a lot of places uh, got a little bit of rain. Places like Glendive 6100s, Miles City 2800s. Now, let me show you some of the other places from our cooperative reservers. Uh, look at Laurel, four miles southwest of Laurel, 2.52 inches of rain. Billings, three miles northwest, had two inches. Just north of the airport had 1.92. Uh, Baker, two, uh, two, two, two miles southeast of Baker, had 1.75 inches. And Broadus had 1.70 inches. One of the big things that helped us this weekend was that the storm that came today took a later bus. It came in a day later. That allowed the rivers to drain just a little bit. And so they're not quite as bad as they were if they'd come in on Saturday or Sunday. Janelle? All right. Thanks so much, Bob.